two players. One host. Five issues. Lose an argument, get a strike. Uh, that's strike one for you, my man. So I'm gonna have to give you the strike there. Three strikes, and you're out. This is Full Count. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gavin Davis. To my right side here, we have Owen Three Pence. And on my left, we have Matt Spices McCormick. Folks, we're going to be running through a variety of topics today, covering all of the worlds of sports. So let's just crack right into it. This is Season 2, Episode 1 of Full Count. And I know when that line bleed, that can only mean one thing. Oh, hey, hey, how's it going, guys? I'm, uh, I'm Mike. I'm really excited to be here. I'm, I'm from Paramus, New Jersey. Uh, this is my first NUTV sports video. Now, my question is, we're past the quarter point of the NFL season. Who do you guys think is going to win the Super Bowl? All right, guys, you heard it. Super Bowl pick. Spices, we'll start with you. Who do you got? I got two words for you. Tom Brady. Patriots are going to make it like Drizzy, go back to back. Their defense is looking pretty good this year. Deion Lewis is a great emerging weapon. Of course, Brady is pissed about the flake gate. No one's getting in the way of the Patriots this year. All right, Owen, how about yourself? Well, as cute as that you know, Drake reference was, uh, it's Aaron Rodgers. He's the best quarterback in football. In addition, you know, the Green Bay Packers' defense is better than New England's. Green Bay Packers, your Super Bowl champions. All right, you heard it there, folks. Uh, in my personal opinion, I'm going to have to give the strike to you, Owen. Uh, it felt more as though you were talking about what Matt had to say rather than your own point. So uh, that's strike one for you, my man. Hey guys, it's Liv from Central Jersey. Um, so the NBA season is rapidly approaching. I was just wondering what your title pick is. All right, guys, NBA title picks. Let's hear what you're thinking. You first, Owen. It's got to be the Warriors. I mean, speaking of Drake, back to back, this team's the best team in basketball. They won it last year. They didn't lose anybody. They've got Stephen Curry, the MVP. Why would they not win it again? Golden State Warriors. Interesting. Matt, what you got? Well, I don't think the Warriors did anything to improve. They just stayed the same roster. One team in the West who did improve is the San Antonio Spurs, adding LaMarcus Aldridge, a legit 2010 threat. You got Popovich coming back. You got Duncan coming back. Go Spurs for me. Ooh, that's tight. I'm going to have to give this one to Owen. I think the Warriors, the fact that they're the same team is their biggest strength. No one had an answer for them last year. Point Owen. Can you see Hey guys, this is Joe from New Jersey. Love the show. Glad to be here. Listen, I got a question for you. So we're about halfway through the college football season, and I was wondering what you guys think about this debate going on. Should college athletes be paid? Let's go Scarlet Knights. All right, guys, we get to the somewhat uneasy topic of college athletes being paid. You know, what's our take on that, Matt? I'll let you open it up. Yeah, I say they should not be paid because they're basically already getting paid by going to college for free. People have to pay $60,000 a year to get the same education they do. I don't think athletes need to be paid. They should get paid when they're good enough to go on to the next level in the professionals, but not as student athletes. Interesting point brought up there. Owen, how about yourself? What's your view on the whole thing? I disagree. I mean, less than 2% of the college athletes make it to the professionals. That means most of these guys are playing for free. They're making tons of money for their colleges. And, you know, the education they're getting is kind of a limited one because they spend so much time playing these sports. I think it's time to pay college athletes i understand that you there owen but i'm gonna have to give the w here to matt he kind of did a better job of explaining what he meant going for it and uh you're just gonna have to sit with that strike there turning around is not going to change the situation owen apparently i'm up again so i'm wondering what you guys think are northeastern's actual chances this year for making it to the ncaa tournament so last year, an exciting time here at Northeastern. The Huskies were able to make it to the big dance for the first time in over 20 years. Uh, Owen, how do you feel about the Huskies' chances are to making the March Madness tournament again here in 2016? I think their chances are pretty strong, to be honest with you. I mean, they lost Scott Etherton, probably their best player, but they filled the void with uh, two of the biggest uh, recruits in the CAA, Jeremy Miller, Anthony Green. They still have David Walker, one of the best shooters in the conference. I think the chances are pretty high. 
All right, Matt, how about yourself? What's your take? Well, Gavin, I think they should be like Owen at a party and that the Huskies should not go dancing this year. A couple other teams, including Hofstra and Delaware, got really stronger this year. And also, you look at Etherton, he was the leading scorer, leading rebounder, and was a defensive anchor for this Huskies team. Can't understate losing him. Overall, I don't think the Huskies are going to make it back. You know, Matt, factually, you had a lot of good stuff there, but pre-show we talked about how vulnerable Owen can be sometimes. So I'm going to have to give you the strike there. Uh, there's no bullying on this set. And I will not stand for it. Strike McCormick. And I got a question. Are you forgiving guys who live just like me? We never know. One day I pray that you and said if I ever blow, I let them know. Hey guys, it's me, Mike, from Jersey. Again. I got one more question for you guys. So, NUTV, we got the Sheffins every year at the end of the year. Now, who do you think is going to get the drunkest this year at the after party? Guys, number five. Now, let's realize each of you sitting here with two strikes, this is going to be the deciding round here on Full Count. So, folks, here the question is, who do we think is going to get the most drunk at the Sheffins party in December? Matt, I'll let you start this one off. Who is your favorite? Well, there'll be a lot of eggnog going around, but I think the man who I got my eye on is the odds-on favorite every year, Neil McCarthy. Every time at the Sheffins party, he gets loud, he gets boisterous, everyone hates him, of course. But I got Neil McCarthy. I think he's going to be the drunkest at the Sheffins. Certainly a perennial powerhouse who a lot of teams are going to be looking to avoid come tournament time. Now, yourself, Owen, who do you kind of feel as though someone's not talking about as a guy who could come out to be the most intoxicated? Yeah, I mean, who wants to pick the favorite every year? That's boring. When you're filling out your bracket, you got to look for those sleepers. Emil Gruber is this year's sleeper. Now, he's always so consistent, great personality. Everyone loves the guy. But I think he's going to kind of let loose this year, personally. So look for him to be the drunkest at the Sheffins. All righty, folks. Now, after further consideration, I haven't been in this business for five minutes to realize that the consistent thing gets it done. The winner is Matt McCormick. That's strike number three for you, Owen. Throwing papers isn't going to change the fact that you are a loser. You are out, out, out of here. Folks, for Gavin Davis, Matt McCormick, and Owen Pence, that's for I'm Matt. the winner. Yes, he is.